Hey there, Libra. Uh, welcome to your reading for the week of August 28th. Uh, this week, definitely check out astrojar.com for more awesome readers and astrologers. Uh, also this week, I'm pulling an extra oracle card from Mildred's Pocket Oracle from Deviant Moon. Just because why not? But this week, you start off with the Seven of Hearts. Uh, doubts about love. Doubts about whether or not you know, you're in the right relationship, doubts about whether or not you'll be in the right relationship, or if you'll ever be in a relationship, those kinds of thoughts. Sevens do represent internal fears that do not exist, so definitely try to let that stuff go. This card also can represent other things as well that are positive, um, kind of like uh, returning to, it's a card of returning to your roots in some way, so a lot of you could be traveling, you know, maybe going back home from wherever you're from. Or some of you could be setting down new routes. You could be moving somewhere and you could have found, you know, somewhere else that you consider to be home. Somewhere that you maybe you've never even been there before, but now it's kind of like you found a new home. Next, you have the King of Hearts. Again, this card is called the house in the Lenormand card reading system, and it can represent the home. So uh, a lot of you having that those feelings of the home, feeling, you know, safety, security, comfort, protection, all of those types of feelings. This could be with a person. You could meet somebody who's very nurturing and very caring at this time. Uh, or, again, it could just be a location. I do feel like on that Seven of Hearts, I do feel like maybe some of you are finding, like I said, a new home, a new place to call home, so to speak, and, you know, somewhere where you feel really good. Next, you have the Six of Hearts. Great card of a turnaround of energy. I always say with this card, it's a card uh, you know that definitely represents being able to try something that you have tried in the past that hasn't worked, and you can try it again now. This card says, and you should see different results. Something you know much better. This card says you've learned a lot, and now you can kind of go back and try something that again you've tried in the past that maybe didn't work in the past. Uh, it can also represent kind of like a karmic relationship coming in. You know, somebody from a past life or something like that. Uh, some sort of relationship there. Um, the, this, these could be love relationships, but it could also just be a new friend or a new person that you meet. Uh, this is also a great card for trying to stand out. Uh, it's kind of like the Nine of Clubs. You don't have the Nine of Clubs this week, but it's kind of like one of those cards where it might be a good idea for you to, to like try to work extra hard at work or, you know, if you're trying to get noticed in any area, uh, even love, it's like a card of just putting in a little bit of extra effort and uh, you can see big results with just a little bit of effort. Next, you have the Three of Diamonds. Not surprised. I mean, Mercury Retrograde, it's card of, this card represents like needing to double check your paperwork. Um, it's simply just a warning card. It doesn't say anything bad will happen. It just says don't allow something bad to happen. Make sure to, you know, pay attention to all contracts you're signing. Make sure to, you know, double check any assignments you're turning in, anything like that. Just make sure to double check. Next, you have the Jack of Clubs. A card of uh, f uh, needing to focus on the future, focusing on the future, and uh, planning for the future. It's also a card that says that you could just be very busy. Actually, your Oracle card is a very busy card, so I think that a lot of you could be just kind of staying busy this week, doing a lot of work. It seems like a kind of a straightforward week for you this week. I think, again, you're just like focusing on the future and, and kind of working towards it. Maybe because, again, this card allows you to like see the future, allows you to see, like kind of get that feeling of, maybe where your life is finally going or, you know, you kind of get a sense that you're finally going to be able to reach some sort of goal. And so that just makes you want to work even harder. And your Oracle card, again, is the factory, which is, again, a card of just like putting in a lot of hard work and seeing results. I think that's the most important part. I think that's the, been the hardest thing for most people for a long time is that uh, m most people have been working on things and just not seeing any results whatsoever, not seeing you know anything. Normally, we get like progress markers where we can see where we're making progress in all areas of our lives. And uh, I think this card is saying that this week, you'll finally be able to see where you are making progress. You'll finally be able to see success, which I think will, again, make you work harder because you're finally seeing success and it will just make you more successful. So looks like a very good week for you. Like I said, I think it's just a kind of a straightforward working week where you're just going to be like working towards things for the most part, uh, but that's not a bad thing. So thank you for watching and enjoy your week.